I'm Dan Musk. And I'm Kyle Musk. And we're the Musk Brothers. Welcome to Nerdist News. Kind of got a ring to it. We're going to take it on the road. Elon Musk is one of the modern era's most enigmatic figures. He's Ooh, got charisma, he's yeah. got panache, Ooh. he's an innovator, and for some reason he keeps inventing stuff that implies he knows something about an impending apocalypse. Like that time he gave one of his Tesla vehicles a mode that protects drivers from biological warfare. What do you know, Elon? Yeah, Elon, what do you know? Why aren't you telling us? But we're about to learn a whole lot more from the Muskmeister when a Vice <laughs> interview with him airs tonight on HBO titled, The Future of Energy. Will Musk drop another crazy science nugget during the interview? <laughs> Will he pledge to invent environmentally conscious time travel? Mm, to get prepped, let's recap the already pretty insane stuff that Elon Musk has been up to over the past week on another edition of... Musquatch! Wow, wow. Wow. Although he is a serious businessman with many incredible inventions and a cave full of hyper-intelligent bets, Elon Musk is not afraid to have fun with his products, a fact proven this week by the discovery that switching on the cruise control four times in a row will activate a psychedelic cowbell road in the Tesla Model S. This basically transforms the display ahead into like a rainbow road-inspired model, while the cowbell from Blue Oyster Cult's Don't Fear the Reaper drives your mind into a Lovecraftian frenzy. It's a Stygian mode, not meant for the likes of man. We all know that Elon Musk fears the impending death knell that is Skynet, even going so far as to say that developing artificial intelligence would be akin to summoning a demon. A demon, most look, foul. Look, we know he doesn't he doesn't sound like that, though, right? Like, well, like, like, a, like an effete German villain? Like, we know that you don't sound like that, but you sound like that, right? Yeah, no, you, you're, we know that you're probably South African. But... Maybe. Prove it? It's a clever ruse. <laughs> anyway, but in December of last year, Musk mysteriously formed an AI company of his own called OpenAI. I would have called it Open Sesame AI, personally. That would have been my choice. Elon, <laughs> come on. That one's on the house. This week we learned that OpenAI is researching unsupervised learning, which basically means that artificial intelligence could learn the same way that we do by stepping outside and looking at the world and understanding the significance of stuff like trees and hugging and street signs and presumably Tesla owners so that they may be spared during the upcoming robo-apocalypse. So this is just like the Montessori school for robots. <laughs> Anyway, and most excitingly of all, after successfully landing a Falcon 9 booster on SpaceX's autonomous drone ship, which was one of the most incredible feats of engineering we've ever seen, Musk finally announced that in September of this very year, he will make public his plans to establish a city on Mars. No, like, ser seriously, Elon Musk is actually, truly, really planning on building a city on Mars. He's gonna announce it in five months. This is not a joke. This is really a thing that is really happening. I'm, I mean, it sounds crazy, but like he made the electric car mainstream mm -hmm. and he landed a rocket, a rocket. A freaking rocket. On a robot boat in the middle of the ocean, which is kind of like throwing a pencil over the Empire State Building and having it land, land on a tissue box. Yeah, or landing a rocket on a robot boat. Or like how I said? Yeah, like throwing a pencil over the ocean into an Empire State Building. Anyway, I pay attention, and I gotta say, I think, I think we're gonna live on Mars, dude. I really think this is gonna happen. I'm already gonna look for like apartments there. Do you want it, you want top bunk or bottom bunk? What, what? But one question remains, why Mars, Elon? I mean, sure, it's the only feasible planet in our solar system that mankind could survive on, but when will the real truth come out? It's because of Mars' multitude of caves, isn't it? Caves for your glorious, glorious, venomous bats. The jig is up, Musk. V knows the truth behind his self-serving goals. But what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Will Elon Musk... <laughs> but enough of that! <laughs> Forget that! Will Elon Musk really take us to Mars? Will you be living on another planet in 10 years? Probably not, but... Hey, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Dying on impact while I land on Mars. That's a, or, great, that's a great answer to give your boss. Yeah. I see myself dying on impact uh, on Mars. Look, you seen the movie Ghost of Mars? Yeah, exactly that. <laughs> but, but me. But me. This and... time, it's Dan's turn. Hey. <laughs> or will you be the dust floating on the remnants of a biochemical weapon in Terminator-crafted dystopian wasteland? Let's discuss. Discuss. <laughs> Squatch! Where's Jess? Who cares? Yeah, that's what I always say. Hey, it's like my grandfather's dying words. Where's Jessica? I don't know. 
but she's coming back soon. In the meantime, we're here to hang out with you, and we got some other awesome content right here on Nerdist.com. For That's example, this week on the Dan Cave, I am telling you everything you need to know about Doctor Strange. Elon Musk may be uh, saving the world, but Doctor Strange, he's astrally projecting himself. And I'm going to tell you why you never go astral to mouth on this week's episode of wow! Dan Cave. Wow! On Book of Science this week, we're talking about xenomorph blood and how acidic it would actually have to be to melt through a spaceship hull. Although I learned from the commenters that it's inside, on the outside of their skin and not actually like in its blood, in like in its So veins. it's like an extra, so there's blood inside, but then so above I'm not, the blood layer, I'm, there's I'm an not acid saying, layer. I'm not saying it completely invalidates my entire episode this week, but it's interesting. It adds a new wrinkle. Yeah. So guys, let us know what's wrong with our episodes this week in the comments section, or just check them out. Keep it plugged here to Nerdist.com for all your scientific Tesla and bat-based needs. Tesla? Tesla, is that of or relating to Tesla? Is yeah. there a better? You Tesla? <laughs> oh, we Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>